now leading up into our co-main event. The first one we got is Barbosa versus our boy Amir Khani. Yeah, so again, right? Like we're, we have such good potential in these fights. And the thing I, I like about this fight the most is that Edson Barbosa, God to many fans, you know, I got a highlight for you right now that I need you to look up. Uh, so I'll give you a quick second for that. But you know, yeah, what am I looking up here? Yeah, so you're going to be looking up the Edson Barbosa knockout of Terry Edmund. Okay, perfect. Uh, so as, as you look that up, just give me a quick show before you watch it there. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I really like what he brings to the table just in terms of the striking, right? He's only been knocked out twice. And let me tell you, he got knocked out by Jamie Varner in 2012, which is, you know, I was a kid back then. Oh, <laughs> oh how good that <laughs> Ah, uh, the good old days. Yeah, but then, you know, he also got knocked out by Gagey. So those are the two knockouts for wow. Gagey comes to Barbosa. I do not believe okay. Amir Khani can strike with this man. Uh, it, it would take a lot in terms of skill, speed, uh, versatility in terms of the striking overall. I just don't see him with it. Uh, so let me know. Right. You going know, you know, to play that right now? Yeah, yeah. I'm, re I'm ready. Let's, let's do fire it up. it up. Yeah, do it up. Let me just get you this. Watch that. Ooh. I'm just, like, visualizing your reaction. Oh, it's coming. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, so that's a top Dude, five. I, I, yeah, yeah. That's not, like, that fall? Yeah. That's not real. Yeah, yeah. that's a top five highlight in the entire UFC. Uh, everyone's favorite. It, 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 like, Nate Corey, uh, an old school fighter, uh, ultimate fighter alumni that you might know by face just from back in the day watching fights with me and stuff like that. But... Yeah, it, it, it was one of the one of the fight, uh, highlights that just made it, you know, almost a household sport. Like I think those are the knockouts that gave him good highlight tape to be able to sell, you know. Oh yeah, that'll sell anyone on the sport. Yeah, and just to go back to the fight itself, like it, it's things like that with Amir Khani. I think if he's smart, you're you're gonna try and tire him out a little bit, pepper the body. Get him moving a little slower. Take this to the ground. Like kicks, yeah. yeah, like you want this on the ground. Like let's not let's not make this anything more than it needs to be. Don't get overconfident in a fight like this. This is the biggest fight of your life. It's Edson Barbosa. This gets you into potential title contention at least. Yes. You know, your next fight's gonna dictate a lot. And so you gotta be smart. And, and if there's only one area that we can see, Khabib did it. I mean, you just gotta ride this guy. You can't let those legs fly and you can't let those punches hit you because they hurt mm -hmm. and they keep coming and he doesn't stop. And if you wanna keep feeling <laughs> that, that's up to you. But you have, a, you have a very good potential game plan there. And I think it's to at least try to get to the body. And if you can't just Try to try to get that takedown. I mean, push him into the fence. Cut that distance. Don't be a distance fighter against Enzo Barbosa because you will be hurt. Yeah. And so you know the odds kind of reflect exactly what you're saying. Mm -hmm. He's you know he he's gonna have to really play into tactics to have a chance at this one. Uh, Barbosa is a minus two fifty favorite, and honestly, like given everything that you said here, mm -hmm. that still seems like decent value. You know what I mean? It's incredible value because I think. It would make me believe that if they believed a little bit in Amir Khani's uh, grappling and ability to kind of just dictate that, that part of the fight, he would be a much, much, much closer uh, underdog. Line, if that yeah. But I do believe that they think Barbosa has what it takes to avoid anything that he brings to the table. And frankly, he has mm -hmm. beautiful submission wins, but they're just not against the Edson Barbosas of the world. And so yeah. going back to what we were saying, you know, that's a perfect parlay minus 250. I mean, if there was a little parlay that we laid almost immediately, a couple of these minus 250s are looking really good right now. Mm -hmm. And trust me when I tell you, if people start getting a whiff of that minus 250, I'd be shocked if by Friday that's not a minus 300. It's not 300, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm.